Okay, here I am choosing saw. <clears throat> and there's a lot of saws to choose from. Cheapest one is eleven forty-three. Then they can this one here is twenty-three dollars. And they can get more expensive. And there's all kind of different types of saws. Now <clears throat> there's a lot of different saws that can do our project. But that's not the only thing you're gonna think about when you're buying a saw. This blade is kind of thick. So all those teeth, they're going to really tear through quickly, but they're also going to leave you a, a jagged surface. And if you want your cuts to be nice and smooth, not give you splinters, and you're going to look for something where the teeth are closer together. And you're not, even though this will give you the proper cut, but this bar on the top is not going to let the saw slide completely through the wood. So you can only cut this deep and that's it. So you're going to, so here's a saw. It's for cutting. You would put your wood in this yellow block and, it, and the lines on the yellow block will, will give you the specific angles you want. This saw is going to be more expensive, give you a nice smooth cut. It's also very short. Now, even though, so you'll get more versatile use out of a longer blade because it'll let you make a uh, longer cuts, um, cut through the wood faster with fewer strokes. But you have to take care of a longer blade and you got to be careful not to bend it. Where are you going to store it? Even when you put it in your car and maybe something's going to get on top of it and ruin it. So if you don't use it very often, just go with a small saw. It's also, it's not only cheaper, but you're probably not going to bend it and crease it and damage it. So you're going to get a lot more use out of it. 